2023. Afegwa Doms Achiku wrote for Southern Presidential Candidate. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Former spokesman of the Atiku Abubakar presidential campaign organization in the 2019 election and ex-information commissioner in Edo State, Prince Kasim Afegbua has urged the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to look beyond the former vice president and cede its presidential ticket to the South ahead of the 2023 general election. I knew this was actually going to happen in PDP because they are trying all they can to return to power. If they see that the APC actually is, is, is going to be, I mean, Nigerians have come out. People like their Faniferi group, their Hone Zendibo group, and the Middle Bed Firm actually came out, I think, sometime last week or two weeks ago to make an announcement that any party that does not bring a, uh, or present a Southern candidate that they're not going to be giving that party support, that they will ensure that their members do not give that party support. So, at the end of the day, maybe the PDP will just, you know, uh, for posterity's sake and for justice and equity's sake. And me, I'm even saying they should narrow it down. The Southwest has been in power in as much as the Northwest. Believe you me, they have. These people have their fair share. Yes. The people who are supposed to be coming out now and people who are disturbing are actually the Southeasterners. But unfortunately, they are not using the correct or right momentum. The Southwest people are the ones that are doing things, campaigning already and ensuring people hear their voice far and near. Yeah, the Southeasterners, they are, I don't know why they're taking so much time. I mean, like, they're taking so much time to come out and, you know, declare ambition and, of course, also get to work. Let's find out more about this then. The news in detail, please stay with us. Afegboa, who played a prominent role in the crisis that led to the suspension of former PDP national chairman Prince Uche Secondus, also taxed the National Working Committee, NWC of the party, led by Senator Iyocha Ayu, to leverage on his good start by going south to get its presidential flag bearer in the next elections. Promising a stand on the need for fairness and equity, the PDP chieftain also think that Atiku's age as a factor, the party should consider urging it to dump the former vice president for a much younger candidate. In a statement entitled Twins 23, Atiku and the Age of Metusala Politics, a February warned Atiku to give younger generations a last a chance Unless he wears the tag of a perpetual or professional candidate. The statement read in part, with the abysmal performance of President Muhammadu Buhari on account of age, incompetence and lack of capacity, and political will to take deliberate and sustained action to build out the country for more manner of challenges, it will be immoral for al Haji Atiku Abubakar to continue to express interest in seeking election in the 2023 presidential election, having attained the retirement age. He cannot assume the role of a perpetual candidate or professional aspirant year in, year out of a party, as though the party was established for him alone. It defeats all sense of logic for such an old man to attempt another round of political contest contestation at a time the general feeling and mood in the country supports a younger Nigerian from a southern extraction of a country. For me, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar should quit his quest for presidency and support a southern Nigerian candidate in the spirit of fairness, equity, and justice. That we assuage the feelings of stakeholders from the southern part of Nigeria. It will be against the run of play and natural justice for any aspirant of northern extraction to show interest in the 2023 presidential election within the People's Democratic Party for its hold. It will offend national sentiment, emotions and logic for anyone from our north, from the north, to show such interest given our diversities and heterogeneous political configurations. Given PDP's doctrine of political power balancing and fairness, 
It will be against its own unwritten rule to see the ticket to one northern aspirant, the list of all, Al Haji Atiku Abu Bakr. Having concluded the convention of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, with a new leadership that looks promising, the party will have to rise board. Above board will have to rise above board to produce a presidential candidate from the southern part of the country to complete the narrative. In a familiar narrative that has seen some PDP Star Wars kings against Atiku's interest in the 2023 presidency, Afegua argued that the former vice president abandoned the party shortly after the 2019 election as some of its leaders were allegedly persecuted by agents of the ruling party. He continued, after the 2019 presidential election, al Haji Atiku Abubaka abandoned all of us in Nigeria and sought refuge in faraway Dubai, thus exposing us to intimidations, harassment and threats posed by the desperate all-progressive Congress APC Pa Oligarchs. It was a case of a general abandoning his troops on the battlefield. Rather than draw strength from his presence, his absence exposed us to manner of challenges. He was in Dubai and left us to our feet. When it mattered most for us to reach out to our candidate for motivation and necessary encouragement, Al Haj Atik Abubakar vanished to thin air. Knowing full well that political activities were to take off, he suddenly resurfaced and became a frontliner in his quest to fly the party's flag once again. That to me amounts to gross political selfishness and greed, which must not allowed to flourish in our contemporary engagements. Even those who are promoters and chief of Al Haj Atiku's aspiration know in their heart of hearts that it is a project that is dead on arrival. He further maintained that Southern Nigeria boasts of eminently qualified leaders whose candidacy will give the ruling party a run for their money. The Southern geopolitical zones of Nigeria have eminently qualified Nigerians and parade great minds who are competent and ready to take a shot at the number one job. Those who are advancing during the Bellows fury of seeing the Northern population as a stimulant to win the sympathy of a North Again, the South are either ignorant of the real demographics or, at best, just playing the ostrich. No one in the North should take away what belongs to the South. That will be hurting the consciences and feelings of the average Southerner. If the argument is to surface, for example, for an Atiku presidency, he'll be finishing his first term of our four years at age 81, and where he to become a candidate in 2023 again, and part venture he loses the election, are we, as PDP, going to reserve the position for him or any other Nathana in 2027? A very good question. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.